So the Air Jordan 1 Low sneaker is probably one of the most common and hyped silhouettes that Jordan brand release. And for the most part, the reason for this is because of their collaboration with Travis Scott, but also other brands as well. Most of the time, those collaborations I'm taking L's on and they're very hard to cop. And recently, Zion Williamson, the power forward for the NBA's New Orleans Pelicans, who was also a Jordan brand athlete, dropped his collaboration. A rumor had it that this was a limited release in terms of number of pairs. Now, it dropped some sneakers and it was a Leo release. So I tried my luck and I thought, you know what? It's unlikely I'm going to cop. So when I did cop and I got my Godham screen, I was like, this is a major W. And after seeing it in hand, for me, this is one of my slept on Air Jordan 1 lows of 2022. And in my opinion, it's probably one of the best. So let's check it out. Hey, what's going on? Let's go back in the video. And today I'm checking out the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Voodoo. Thanks for checking out the video. If you're new to the channel and you like all kinds of content related to sneaker culture, please do subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when I do drop new videos. And if you do enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up as it really will help the channel grow. Now today I'm checking out what I believe is one of the most slept on Air Jordan 1 releases of 2022. And in fact, for me, it's probably one of the best. And that is the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Voodoo. So this release dropped at the end of November, but due to the postal strike here in the UK, I didn't get my pair in hand until mid-December. So it's taking a while to get this review out. It's dropped exclusively on sneakers app for a retail price of £144.95 here in the UK or $170 out in the US. And as expected, it did sell out. So when I did get my Godham screen, I was really happy. As the rumours were, this was a limited release with not many pairs being dropped especially in large sizes like mine, UK 13. But I've seen the sneaker hand, I think the detailing materials are fire. And I think a lot of people are sleeping on this sneaker. So a bit back into this release. So Zion Williamson is a power forward for the NBA's New Orleans Pelicans. And he is also a Jordan brand athlete, which means that he has his own signature shoe, the Zion. And the Zion 2 dropped earlier this year in June. And it was known as the Zion 2 or the Voodoo. And the reason it's called the Voodoo is it links back to him playing in New Orleans. And obviously that has a strong Voodoo culture. As part of this release, he also teased back in June on Twitter an image of an Air Jordan 1 Low, but there was no release date at the time. However, months went by and obviously the sneaker blogs then basically said it was going to drop around November-ish, December timeframe. For me, this was a release I had my eye on for, a, for quite a while because I like the detailing, I like the colour blocking and I think it was definitely a sneaker that one I was hoping to cop. When I heard it was limited release, I thought, you know what, I'm still going to try and cop, but if I take my L, then maybe I'll take resale. So I wanted to get my W, really have to have it in hand and really have to have this in the collection now. So let's check it out. Now, if I do have one criticism of this release, it would be the fact that there's no special box. So given the detail that you'll see on the sneaker and obviously the quality of the materials, etc., I was expecting potentially a special box, but unfortunately that's not the case. So what you do get is a standard Air Jordan 1 box. So you've got your Nike logo and swoosh on top in red. And obviously you've got the glossy black box. And then the same logos here and here as well. And on the bottom you've got 1985 Air Jordan 1. Now the reason for this is because this is an OG release. So it actually features um, the cut of a 1985 Air Jordan 1, which we have seen on some higher versions like the Neutral Greys, the Georgetowns. This is also what makes this sneaker quite unique. So we take a look at the size tag, it's the Air Jordan 1 Retro Low OGZ or Voodoo. And the colour is flax, muslin, four and a brown, and it's UK 13, US 14. So a lid. Again, standard tissue paper inside, so no special packaging as I mentioned. I peel this back. And here we have the sneaker. So it's the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Voodoo. So here we have the sneaker. As you can see, it's interesting detailing. And I think, the, you know, you can definitely see there's some unique characteristics on this. And obviously we'll talk about it in the review. Starting on the outsole. So you have a gun bottom, as you can see. And uh, it's in this kind of brownish color. And then you have Obviously your Nike logo and swoosh right here. And then there's a standard trip and you get on the Jordan. So you turn to the side and on the 
uh, midsole you've got this kind of muslin slash sail color right here and then obviously then you've got your plastic element right here that you can you see on all jordan ones come out to the upper so again it's made up of different colors and materials uh, so you have your kind of suede uh, material here in this uh, flat colorway right here and we then have a different material it's like hemp material here this is like wheat color and obviously you've got some inscription right here again specifically for this collaboration so you come out to the other side um, near the toe and this is in this oil green as you can see and then you've got some additional stitching um, going around the toe box you also have one nice detail which is the reverse swoosh so again this is in this uh, um, fauna brown color right here and again it's not something you see on every uh, Jordan 1. Most of the time, reverse always reserved for Travis Scott. So, the fact that Jordan Man have let uh, Zion Williamson re release his with that is quite a nice detail. You turn to the top on the toe box, it matches the fauna brown right here on the toe box. And again, this is all suede. And instead of your standard perforations, you get these kind of crosses. So, again, that kind of links back to the whole voodoo inspiration here. And that goes all the way on the toe box and up to the next element, which is the tongue. So on the tongue, again, you've got this suede material right here going up. And they're kind of orange colour, which I think is quite nice. Um, I haven't actually laced these right now, but obviously as you go up the tongue, you can see that orange then comes up to the, all the way up to the top. One other interesting detail is when you get to the top on the tongue, you have Nike Air, but if you look, it's actually upside down. So if I turn it that way, you'll see it's Nike Air. It's a standard thing you get again on the Jordan 1, and it's in the muslin colour on that uh, fauna brown background you see right there. Back of the tongue, you kind of got a gray um, element right here. Again, this feels kind of felty. So again, it feels quite nice on the foot. As we go down the side, you've then got this gray element on the ice days. Obviously you start here with the brown and then move up to the gray. And there's ice days going up right there. We can side the sock liner. So again, this feels very premium. So it's again, suede and it's getting that same color that you see right here on the tongue. So it's that kind of gray color right there. Look at the laces. So you get rope laces right here. So again, these are, these are quite nice. Um, as you see in the on foot, it looks a little better when they're laced up. On this side, you can see you've got your swoosh. And again, this is suede. And again, it's in that uh, fauna brown color that you see right here that matches the toe box and that swoosh right there. One cool detail is you then got these kind of bands over this. And again, that's kind of tying into that voodoo piece as well. And as we come to the back of the sneaker on the heel, you can see you've then got another interesting detail which is kind of a face and then it's got you know x for the eyes and brown the mouth and then you've got this button here which kind of makes up another eye and again not something you're going to see on every sneaker so it's quite a little nice little detail we turn to the back of the sneaker another interesting detail you've got the jordan wings logo in that green so the kind of oil green color but again it's upside down so if i flip it that way you'll see that it's uh there then another cool feature is if i pull this up it will then say Zion right there. It will say basically ZI, and then you've got that uh, kind of voodoo doll face right here, and then N. And again, that says that Zion's name. Let me flip that back down. You don't see it's a very Jordan 1, that kind of hidden detail. So I think that's quite a nice touch as well. And then also, you just have that same um, writing here on the side that you also have on the midfoot right here. So you just have that same detail you have on the back of the heel, um, and that says Zion. So you've got that ZI. And you've got that voodoo face and then N. Again, that same voodoo face is what you see right here. So again, I think that's quite a fire detail. Flip to the medial side. Again, you'll see you've got this stitching coming down here. So again, that's quite interesting. So it kind of contrasts across from the wheat hemp panel right here across to the suede panel right here. And again, you've then got that swoosh. Only difference is on this side, you don't have the same bands keeping it in place right here. So again, that's just a subtle difference. So that's the right sneaker. I'll take a quick look at the left. So you do get a set of additional gray laces as well in the left sneaker. The left sneaker is different in terms of the color blocking. You get the same flax suede color right here, but the differences are obviously this is gray instead of the wheat brown here. On the eye stays going up the upper, this is the oil green right here instead of the gray you see right here. In the sock liner, it's also that orange color instead of the gray that you see on the right sneaker right here. The other key part is on the mud guard that's again in this brown color that you don't, and obviously on the right sneaker, it's in that oil green. So again, subtle little details. I think that's quite fire. One of the key pieces you have voodoo. So you have V O O D O O, but it's kind of in that interesting, different um, symbolism right there. And also on the rear, instead of the eye being green here, it's actually that brown color. 
And then again, on the back of this is green as well. Whereas on here, you can see it's that wheat color there. So again, these all subtle just details that are on its sneaker to obviously make them unique. And then finally on the back of this one, it will say Voodoo, which obviously is the same as what you see on the insole. If I put them together, you'll see it says Voodoo on the left and Zion on the right. And again, if I put both sneakers together, you can see the differences in the colorways. So I think that's quite fire. In terms of sizing, I, I'm choose to size and that's what I do for all my Jordan ones uh, and that fits fine. As you can see, it does have quite a wide toe box. So you may want, if you do have a narrow foot, you could get down half a size, but true to size is my recommendation. In terms of resale, these have actually gone up in price. So the they retail for £145 here in the UK. Last sale on StockX is 422 I think that's just down to the limited nature of this release. So for me, it's extra special. I consider it quite hype into because it was hard to get hold of and that reflects in the resale price. What I would say is if you were interested in this, then I would definitely see if you could try and cop this um, on the resale market for a, a decent price. Because I only think this will go up um, as the time goes on. What do you think is it? Did you manage to cop or did you just take your L's? What do you think of the collaboration? For me, I think it's fire. I think what Zion and Jordan Brand have done, I think is really unique. And for me, it's a slept on sneaker, but I think because of the, limit, the limited availability of it, um, a lot of people probably did pass on it because they just thought they couldn't cop. But for me, really have them in the collection and definitely looking to add this to the rotation at some point. Obviously it's colder now, but it does have some autumnal themes in terms of the color blocking. So it's definitely one you could wear at this time of year. Obviously with like jeans and, you know, like, like joggers or something, but um, come summertime, you could definitely wear some shorts as well. But regardless, I'm happy to have in the collection and definitely looking forward to wearing this. So thanks for taking the video. If you did enjoy this video, I want to see more content related to scene culture. Please do subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when I do drop new videos. And if you did also enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up as it really will help the channel grow. And until next time, take it easy. I'll see you in this video.